I am so gratified that in 2023, we were able to launch RP's very first international service trip. We were inspired by one of our very own physicians, Dr. Arlene Richardson, who had been working with RADAID, a global health organization. And Arlene's work inspired us to take the leap and to expand our notion of service beyond our borders and to offer a helping hand to a community that is in desperate need of assistance. This was a learning opportunity and growing opportunity for me to, to look at the entire radiology support, not just the clinical, but also the non-clinical team. We had some uh, teammates that were with the radiologist, some teammates with the technologist. We also had teammates that were out in the community working with the HIPS organizations. So those were all new and provides an added value and also broadens the scope of what the Tanzania team can do. I see a lot of ways we can scale now that I didn't think about before. A couple of days ago, the radiologist told us that Grand Rounds was happening this morning, and they asked us to present to all of the physicians at the hospital so they could learn more about imaging patients who are pregnant. So we'll be sitting there today and discussing that really important topic. Getting in the reading room with them and helping them review cases was really a the best way to establish a collegial bond with them. And, you know, we're, we're all radiologists. They have excellent training. They're knowledgeable, but they're young. They're not subspecialty trained. So when it comes to complex cross-sectional imaging, you know, they're really wanting to get some help with that. And so it was really a great mixing of two different sets of experiences and, um, you know, learning about them as radiologists and developing a, a bond and a trust. When we hit the ground, it's just about um, absorbing and observing and seeing what they currently practice and how we can help empower them to be better technologists, to give better care to their patients. We've been working on protocols, um, working on how to shorten scan times. We've been working on how to build protocols and positioning of the patients. Um, I've already seen um, signs of, you know, him getting anxious when I have to leave, uh, which is wonderful. And um, I would like to, you know, have an opportunity to come back and work with them some more. When you're around people that are doing so much with so little and you come back and you think, oh my gosh, and we have so much, let's really make things happen, you know? And giving is really what is important, you know? It's just to me another example of how we live by our values. Having the opportunity to work with HIPS, which is uh, doing great work around critical health programs and, and mental health uh, and cardiology and women's and children's, being able to work with that team gave us insight into the type of challenges that they have from a data gathering perspective for health outcomes. And it allowed us to really bond and understand what aid workers are doing in a place like Zanzibar, which needs so much help going up to the Kabungi Hospital today, and we're gonna check out what they're doing on the mental health side, as well as kind of the status of their ultrasound and x-ray technology. Uh, we are very happy to have a digital x-ray machine, which is working. The problem now, we can't send uh, this film through internet, because we don't have a radiologist here, so that this is a very challenge for us, because sometimes we need very quick a report to have effective treatment, effective diagnosis in a very short time. Thank you very much. You really felt the poverty level when you walked into that hospital. It was very eye-opening. It definitely helped to refocus just my outlook on healthcare. I felt like it was incredibly valuable for us to experience that together. The effect that we could have is astounding. I think of our cohort, the first 10 is that first drop in the pond. 
and that that ripple will continue to expand. And I really hope it does. We need to keep the momentum going. I found it hugely worthwhile. Opportunities like the one that RP provided for me and the teammates that have traveled to our invaluable lifetime experiences um, that I, I hope everyone wants to have. It would be difficult for me to convey how proud I was of our team, watching them, serving, overcoming challenges, learning, developing a perspective, teaching, and supporting a community that was both grateful for our service and needed our help. And I couldn't be more grateful to our sponsors who made this first RP service mission a reality. Mm -hmm.